Public art has been a cornerstone of, of my work. It's so important to me to reach people in their daily lives and to democratize art. I use my voice in my art um, many different ways. I create screen prints, stickers, big murals, clothing, and all of those things have my art that's got some sort of social commentary. Some, some of the art is, is very topical. It's dealing with race issues or environmental destruction or the need to get money out of politics or encouraging people to participate. You know, the challenge is to make the art something that's visually appealing, that can function in some ways as a, a Trojan horse to get past predispositions and make someone consider an issue that they might not have. And I, I don't see my art as telling someone how to think. I think it's about asking them just to consider another perspective and mull it over. My desire to have my art say something comes from several places, but um, I have to say largely from music because I saw a lot of musicians do such a beautiful job of blending something visceral and appealing and entertaining with social commentary, whether it's Patti Smith or Public Enemy or The Clash. There's so many people who have made something that I know gets to people that might not agree with the politics, but once that positive association is there, I think that head wants to follow heart and there's, uh, there's the, the opportunity for somebody to reconsider their position. So that, um, you know, that, that duality of, of, uh, you know, of, of escapism and engagement, pleasure and provocation. If I consider myself talented enough to make a strong picture and I have opinions about what's going on in the world, then I should push myself to solve the problem of doing both. I think it's always critical to speak out, but right now with the climate of division that, that's happening, all across the United States. I've never, I've never seen things so polarized. And I think that the, you know, the need for common decency for maybe the silent, generous, kind majority to use their voices is essential in this moment.